WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And we're looking at the Dow up 485 points to 31,745, over 1,000 points up from the 130 time frame Friday. Unbelievable how it goes up and down these 1,000 point moves. But all, what we are looking at here is that some of the technicals have really improved a lot in terms of a divergence, a positive divergence. So that's a good sign looking at the S&P. The S&P at this particular point, we'll call it up uh, yeah, 41, uh, 39.42. Uh, 39.54 was the high earlier today. It's getting to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. If at any point in the next two days it's able to get to 39.94, That'll be absolutely fantastic. Actually, 500 points more for the Dow. Let's just say uh, it needs to be moving at least to the 39.73 pink nine-period exponential moving average. You're looking at the QQQ, NDX 100. Coming back a little bit now, it's up 64 cents at 289.25. By the end of the day, it's got to at least attempt to tag or break above the 292.01 high that was made earlier this morning. And we'll see what happens with the IWM, which is now up $1.13 at 177.20. 179 is going to be the resistance. Looking at the GC, which is gold, uh, up 9 at 18.51. It stopped dead at the 200-period moving average. It's really struggling. If it's able to get to the 18.77, 18.82 level in the next two days, that's going to be good. That'll suggest that the dollar can pull back even further. Dollar's down 84 ticks at 102.17. Just about to go to a sell signal just on the daily, just a digestive phase off the massive move to the upside. We're looking at the uh, TLT, which is the bonds. Bonds are down 86 cents at 117.63. Yields just don't get a break at all. And you're looking at crude oil, talking about a break. Crude oil is now down 43 cents at 109.84. If it's able, if crude oil is able to stabilize with support in the 104s and not break into the 111, 112 area, um, that's going to be important. But if it takes that 112 on the upside, whew, that's going to be a big deal for, for crude oil. Uh, so with that said, let's just follow the VIX index. The VIX index, which is now up only a penny at 29.44, takes out 29 as support on the base, on the, on, the, on the support side, and the market holds well and then starts to bring in the, the QQQ and the IWM. That'll be a nice close on the day. So far, this is really good action considering what happened on Friday. And we'll see what happens. Have a great day. Thank you for Larry Pizzavento. Great programming all the way through. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Check out my opening call. The